Hello, uh, we wanted to do a video of our impression so far of uh, Baguio City. Uh, it's been 10 years since the last time Dazzle and I came here to Baguio City and we wanted to see, uh, we miss it actually from 10 years ago. That's why we decided a trip here to Baguio. Um, so far, the first thing that I noticed is, of course, there's a lot more people, a lot more newer buildings and the traffic, you know, traffic is around here where Burham Park is on Session Road, Harrison Road, uh, a lot of traffic. That's why while we were here, we decided not to even drive our car because uh, it's another thing is parking. It's almost impossible to find any parking. The only place where you can really park your car is at the mall at SM Baguio. And then if, you, if you're going to Session Road or Burham Park, you'll still end up taking a taxi or a jeepney or, um, it's a, or a long walk. And the jeepneys aren't bad because the jeepneys only cost nine pesos per person. So it's really cheap. So, you know, we've, we've been riding the jeepney all over and it hasn't been a problem. Um, another thing, if you're coming here on a Saturday or Sunday, uh, that's gonna be a challenge. Uh, we noticed that there's just, uh, just so many people uh, this past Saturday and Sunday. Actually, like even in the jeepney, we had to wait over an hour for a jeepney ride because there's just so many people. There's people standing in line for a jeepney. And even if you want to get a taxi, it's almost impossible to get a taxi because all the taxis are taken. So that's one thing to consider if you're coming here on a weekend. The weekdays are a lot easier. Like today is Monday and not a problem to get a jeepney on Monday. How about you, babe? Uh, what have you liked about Baguio so far? Um, I love the strawberry tahu. I love the night market, <laughs> my ukai. And it's not as cold as before, <laughs> 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dazzle doesn't like uh, cold weather like, like I do. I'm like, I'm, the, the, one of the reasons uh, I like coming to Baguio was the cold weather, but it hasn't been cold at all. It's like during yeah, the day, like... maybe 80 degrees Fahrenheit, the coldest yeah. it's got, and maybe early morning is maybe in the low 60s. And yeah. I've been wearing shorts and t-shirts the whole time I'm here. So, but it's still a lot cooler than if you're uh, down below the mountains. It's yeah. it's like in the 90s here during the day. So it's yeah. summer summer so it's expected you know that it's not a school the last time we came here we yeah, came like in uh, December. December yeah December. December so that was a lot cooler yeah, December how about J John Hay did you want to discuss oh, yeah, I love the camp John Hay there's there's still a lot of pine trees and like here what do you call this babe? Burnham Park, Burnham Park. Burnham Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yep. Yeah, if you could tell Dazzle's that she's really shy. She's not a talker. So I have to almost like egg her on so she would talk. Not like me. It's easier for me to talk. I'm talkative by nature. I know. Right? <laughs> I know. Right? The next thing I want to discuss is eating out. If you, you know, most people come to Baguio, food is like a, you know, everybody wants to try all the different foods here. And for us, when we visit places, we still like to eat at the Carinderia because we know, you know, that that's where you would get the best uh, value for your money. And a lot of times they cook their local dish. Like here in, in Baguio, we've been able to try like their local dishes, like uh, pinapaitan. Pinapaitan, where we come from, they don't really cook that. It's a special dish, that a uh, Ilocano dish that they serve here. So that's one of the advantage if you go eat at the Carinderia. But one thing I noticed is we did eat at the Carinderia here near at Burham Park. And I didn't even uh, check the price of the food because all Carinderia that we eat, we normally pay 60 to 70 pesos, about $1.25 uh, US for, uh, for a meal. That's, that's common in Carinderia, but not here close to Burham Park. When, when I ordered, that Dazzle ordered and I ordered, it ended up costing us like 300 pesos, which is about $6. So that's twice the amount that we normally pay. But I guess that's expected because Burham Park is like a, a tourist 
uh, destination so that this is where everybody goes so you know it, so but after that we decided to just eat at our the, our favorite Carinderia near near our hotel so far our favorite things that we've eaten here uh, in Baguio the strawberry taho that's like been our favorite because we don't get that we, we just get the normal taho we're really been a clan so the strawberry taho it's been like a, a real treat every morning it, it hits the spot there um, also the the strawberry shortcake that we ate at yep. uh, from Visco's and that strawberry shortcake is legit you know we'll probably eat that before we leave mm -hmm. um, and at the night market I got to try um, Tarlac Pares um, and it was delicious I was wondering when I went to the night market why there was a line of at least 20 people at that at that stall so that's why I ended up lining up there because normally when you see a big line there's a reason it's why they're lining up and of course the Paris was like delicious the meat was like uh, uh, tender. tender tender meat and the, the, the soup was on point and they served it with uh, noodles or rice I chose to eat it with uh, garlic rice and it was like for how much was it it was like, it was 60, like 60 60 pesos a little over a dollar and it, it filled me up you know that's the only thing I ate for the night for the night yeah and the last thing would be the putu bong bong at Solibao yep. there's a restaurant here in Burnham Park called Solibao and the putu bong bong that they serve is uh, the authentic putu bong bong where they steam it a lot of times you you go eat putu bong bong now and they don't steam it they I don't know how they bake it or something and it's it's chewy but this putu bong bong is what how I remember putu bong bong it's like real tender it's got they put uh, muscovado uh, sugar on it and coconut and it's like on point Mark Antonio. Mark Antonio. I'll do a shout out. do a shout out to Gia Ibabo in the clan shout out Gia <laughs> All right. I had a request for a shout out from uh, Mark Antonio he works at Solibao restaurant in Burham Park they make the best putu bong bong in Baguio shout out bro 